What's up ladies and gentlemen welcome to the first ever episode of Meta My name is Varun Maya and before we get into my story or the meat of the content I first want to tell you a slightly different story You see many centuries ago we had a bunch of inspired motivated people who traveled the world explored new islands and concepts tinkered and created wonderful things whether it be a charles darwin or a galileo we had people at the very edge who risked everything to learn more about the world that we live in but when these people got older when they ran out of energy what they did was they'd all come together and impart their knowledge impart everything they've learned across their lifetime to other people and the places where these people got together became known as colleges or schools or universities you know before the invention of the internet if you wanted to learn something the only way you could do it was face to face right there was no other medium for mass communication like that right then books came about right and very very few people could actually write books um there was distribution which was a challenge so you know a lot of things it was difficult before the invention of the internet for you to learn anything useful without college but the internet changed all of that the minute the internet came about everybody not just the adventurers who were done with their journeys but also current adventurers people who were just two steps into their adventure or five steps into their adventure all of them could now share and for a beginner or a learner you could learn not just from the absolute experts in your field but also from people who are making baby steps right so it became it democratized the idea of learning itself and in that process during that period colleges and universities had to change what they did right and this is a natural sad conclusion of systems but it's something that has happened without us even realizing and what has happened is the fence paradox now instead of me kind of talking about it i want to show you what the fence paradox is all right so this is a cliff and most industries in the world are like cliffs right there are many people who hang around the edge and a lot of different people have a you know take different risks right so there are some people who play it a little risky who play at the edge and there are some people who stay far behind who play it safe now the people at the edge they sort sometimes they make mistakes now the people at the edge make mistakes sometimes but at the same time it's only the people who take risks and who stay at the edge who make significant progress right usually we call these people entrepreneurs but they can exist everywhere in many different spaces and industries but a sad but natural kind of side effect of this kind of environment is that some people fall right it's normal it's it's not like this is a bad thing it's not like you die when you fall you can always go do something else but sometimes some of your ideas might not work out some of your some of the things that you build might not work out and universities they don't like that so what they do is they create a fence right they create a ring and they create this artificial perception and they modify people's risk perception right so this fence it kind of allows people to move around with this false sense of security that doesn't exist in the real world right so colleges create fences with the idea of degrees but the problem is when you create a fence like this a lot of people clump up when you offer security and reliability to somebody with a fence like this people tend to clump up at the fence at the very edge of that fence and of course anybody who studied any simple economics who understands the idea of supply and demand knows that you cannot have a million people with the same degree doing the same thing and because of this fences break and when they break a lot of people fall today in india we have one of the highest levels of unemployment across the country right we are at the worst economic turmoil we have ever seen and it's not just universities and colleges that are to blame for this right it's it's a lot of different factors so what we've done with the meta platform is we have created in this course a bunch of free content and tools for you to be able to build something at the edge whether you're an employee whether you're a scientist whether you are an entrepreneur right you can do all of it with the meta platform and all the content we're putting out is free 
and in the off chance that you fall and it is natural in all systems for people to fall you can use the same tools to get back up again now a lot of you might ask why we're doing this for free and to be honest there are two reasons the first one is that as people who've been through the journey we want to help people right it's it's kind of altruistic i think it's in the human dna to want to help people and we want to help people but the second reason is a little more tactical i want to make with you a deal across time you see today if i build a feature on one of the products we've invested in or one of the products we own a competitor can easily copy that feature it won't even take him a week or two weeks it's easier than ever to build software products it's also easier than ever to start building physical products right so whatever i build somebody else is going to build in a week whatever that person builds i can copy in a week if it works everybody has the same feature it's getting easier and easier to build a company but harder and harder to build a brand you know in the world today there are thousands of moisturizer brands there are hundreds and thousands of t-shirt brands that you can buy from what differentiates all of them it's just the brand it's not the product or the quality anymore so what i want to do today is i want to make a deal with you across time you see we are putting everything on the line to put out this course content for free if you want to support us you can obviously buy a meta pass you know go through the placement cycle all of that helps us but we assume that a lot of people consuming this content are going to consume it for free at least the basics right what i want to do is if at any point in your future whether it's today or tomorrow or whenever if this content helps you i want you to make a decision in the future for me i want to make a trade between the current me and future you somewhere down the line 5 10 or 15 years down the line if you have to choose between two products and one of those products is a product that i have invested in or avalon's invested in or you know we've partnered with or we're co-branding with i want you to consider buying that product right just consider it. you don't have to only if we've helped you you see we will always build products that have great customer experiences that work that do what they're supposed to do you know we we know how to build software we've done it for many years but as a brand i want you to pick when you have two choices between two similar products and one of them is by avalon choose the avalon product right so that's all you know two reasons one of them is we want to help people the other one is we want to be defensible as a brand and that's about it in the next episode we are going to talk about why we started this course in the first place and my own little story on how we started the meta startup platform which was you know kind of the same thing but for entrepreneurs thank you for tuning in